All right, uh, we have this question here, question 2.2. Um, question 2.2 says, um, we need to cal calculate the value of uh, the sum of uh, uh, 100 minus 3k. Uh, 1k starts from 1 to uh, 50. Okay, um, so this is how we can solve the problem. Uh, we can see that we can find the first term in this in this question, uh, A. The first term, which is uh, actually uh, A. Uh, sometimes the first term, is, we know it's T1, but in uh, sequence and series, we write it as A. Uh, it can be found when we sub in the value of one on the on the expression inside the sigma notation. So A will be equal to uh, 100 minus three, uh, K, but K is one now because uh, um, A is the first term. So we'll assign the value of one, this very first value there. And then we got the value of A, which is equal to 97, okay? And we can also find the last term, uh, TN, okay? Uh, but it is denoted as L, um, L in, um, in the sequence and series. So we can do um, 100 minus three uh, uh, K, and then we sub the value of K, which is the last term in the series, which is the 50th, the 50th term. So we're gonna sub 50 over here, 50, and then uh, uh, that's gonna be uh, 100 minus uh, 150, which makes uh, L equal to negative 50. So that L, negative 50. The last term. I use that because um, we have a formula that says uh, the sum of S n equal to n over two uh, times a plus l, the first and the last term. So uh, S n be equal to uh, n n. Uh, how many terms? There are fifty terms. So we have fifty over two. Open brackets. A the first term which is ninety seven. Okay. Um, going to move this way and then uh, plus a negative 50. Okay, um, I just make it square bracket. And now uh, SN will be then uh, 25 times um, uh, 47 and which is equal to um, uh, 1175. SN equal to 11.75. Yes, we can also solve the same problem if we use that other, the other formula for SN. Um, we also do know that SN is given by um, uh, N over two, open square brackets, two A plus N minus one times D, okay? Um, Okay, this formula is used in all the cases, okay? But this other formula is used only when uh, the first and the last term are given, okay? I'll write like this. Um, this formula, this one, let me show it like this. I'll write the comments here. Use only when the first and the last terms are given. This one can be used in all the cases. Okay, so now in this situation, um, what we can do, uh, we do know the number of the term, okay, and there are 50 terms. Uh, as we can see here, um, there are 50 terms because the sum goes from 1 to 50. How do I know 50 terms? Because I do uh, 50 uh, minus 1 plus 1, that's the formula. Yeah, all right, maybe let me start with writing the number of the term. The formula will be given by uh, n minus one plus one, always. 
class one. So n will be uh, obviously 50, okay? Because if you do 50 minus one is 49, plus one is uh, 50. So there are 50 terms. Now um, we can find uh, what is A? A is, the A is the first term. So T1, uh, T1 here will be A, which is equal to um, 100 minus three times one. And we got that A equal to 97, right? 97. And then uh, D, which is the constant difference. Um, D, we can find D by uh, looking at the coefficients of, uh, of uh, K, of the variable. So the negative three that we see over here, negative three is uh, D. So uh, we can find D, you say D is equal to negative three. Therefore, S N will be then uh, N over two, so 50 over two times uh, 2a plus n minus 1 times uh, d. Okay, n, we know the value of n. Um, minus 1 times uh, d. So a is uh, 97, n is 50, and then d is negative 3. Now, if we, such, if, if we calculate this, okay, just now, draw line over here, and then we'll have uh, SN equal to 25 uh, times what? Two times 27 is uh, 194, um, uh, and then minus negative three times um, um, 49 will be, we will 49 times negative three, this is equal to uh, one, negative 150, no, 147. And then uh, we end up with uh, 25 times uh, 47, and this is equal to 1175. That's the same. And notice that it's the same, this answer, and this answer, and that one, uh, same. Thank you.